Hi guys, you caught me as I was just having a quick cocktail. Mmm, that's actually a cup of tea, but you get the idea. Hey guys, Monkey from Board Gamer here. We're here today with some more Star Citizen updates, and today is the 16th of November 2014. Arena Commander 0.9.2.1 and probably lots of other numbers has just been released uh, with the 315p from Origin Jump Works now flyable in Arena Commander. This means that all the 300 series are now flyable in Arena Commander and hangar ready. That's awesome. I That's a whole series of ships, four ships that are now totally flyable in Arena Commander uh, and it's great. And they fly differently. The 315P, I noticed when I was flying, has got a more powerful engine. You can feel the different systems in it. Um, there's also uh, a few other tweaks that were um, released in the patch. Um, rebalances for weapons and 300 series, uh, as well as some control improvements. It's quite a cool little update. Um, and just the fact that all of the 300 series are now available is fantastic. As you can see behind me, the uh, liquor cabinet has been released for subscribers. I'm really looking forward to getting one of these properly in the verse and offering people drinks. But at the moment, all you can do is go up to bottles and drink them. I do like the interactivity in the some of the subscriber flair, like the cheek pucks. You can turn the music on. Really, really good laugh. S silly little things that keep the community entertained. Uh, CIG, well done. Awesome, thank you. Uh, the rooms are going to start to appear now in the Revel New York hangars and Arrowview hangars. So you're likely to see some extra flavour in your hangars. Um, There's going to be more enterable rooms that will have stuff in them and hopefully some more interactivity going on in the hangars. Uh, the third starter ship has been confirmed and it's a multi-crew one. It's the uh, Misk Reliant um, and it's going to be a two-seater ship and it's going to be very Zion tech based. It, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm not a massive fan of them having another starter ship, but I, I'm thinking that what will probably happen with it is that it will be a more expensive or like a just after starter ship or for a starter ship for people that want to do uh, two people in a single ship as a like me and my mate or we'll start together. So I think it's going to be possibly more expensive because of that as a pledge um, or harder to get as a starter ship maybe. Who knows? Um, it might just be a tear up from the Mustang and the, the Aurora. We don't know enough about it at the moment, but it's probably going to be damn good because the guys from Star Citizen are making it and Star Citizen's cool. Uh, the $61 million mark just got smashed. Uh, I said just got smashed, got smashed last week. Uh, the Esper Prow Prowler is now, well, is now available as a um, stretch goal and will be added to the game. And CIG are already 50% of the way at smashing the $62 million. Uh, dollar goal, which will enable us to have the Starliner, the Genesis class Starliner, which is going to be like a budget uh, passenger transport for quite a lot of people. Don't know exactly how many yet. I'm really looking forward to that because I want to do silly content for my YouTube channel and get some odd ships. I really wish I'd bought the uh, 890 Jump now. Um, that would have been a, a really good laugh. But so maybe I could, I'll probably better grab one in game. Uh, but yeah. So the passenger liner sounds like a really good laugh to me. Um, other news. The Avenger uh, should be flyable in Arena Commander 1.0. And that should be out before Christmas. That's going to be awesome. I love the Avenger. I have total love for the Avenger. Uh, oh, we've got an Avenger giveaway going on as well. That ties into that. I'll put the descriptions at the bottom. Just All you've got to do is comment on that video. Just have a look. Uh, the Avenger variants are going to be available in early 2015. That was confirmed by Ben uh, in a... Um, interview with them the other day and the Carrick is the next concept sale and that's going to be very soon the Carrick is the long-range like multi-crew explorer vessel oh kind of looking forward to that and really am um, um, hopefully I've had to get a buggy on it as well that'd be so cool just plan to fly around oh um, other major news are we gonna see an anniversary sale on the 19th of November that marks the two-year anniversary for the Kickstarter ending for Star Citizen so, if we're going by experience, we're likely to say, see some limited time sales, something special going on, some um, cool live streams, something something cool. CIG never disappoint. So, maybe some limited edition ships, that would be cool. Some variants. An Idris, come on, give us an Idris. Just even, just one, come on. Um, I hope that's been informative, guys. I'm going to go and play some more Star Citizen. Got to take my cat to the vet as well. You didn't need to know that, but it's a little insight to my life. Take care, guys. See you next time. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the burst. Bye!